All right, take three <laughs> on this beautiful Monday morning, sitting out on the porch. Um, temperature is a very, very comfortable 72 degrees. Uh, blue skies, as far as you can see. No wind whatsoever, maybe a little breeze every now and then. Um, I wanted to uh, take a look in my Goodwill coach bag, um, a find of the year, I, in my opinion. Um, the only thing that was wrong with it was I, it, it was missing a zipper pull. So I had this little polymer clay bee that I had made up a few years back. And he's just been kind of hanging out at the house and not really serving a purpose for anything. So he now has found his purpose and he is my zipper pull for my backpack. And it's so cute. Anyway, let's uh, dig into this thing and see what we have going on. I do know it is full of cotton. Let me move my dinosaur. Yes, I'm still working on him. I still have, um, well, I thought I had all of the crochet parts done to where then all I would have to do is sew everything on, but no, I forgot his little bitty short stubby arms. So I have one of the arms done and waiting to get the other one, but that's not what well, we're here today. We're here today to see what's in this bag. It's a mess, I can tell you that much. Yep, right off the bat. Everything is about to just come out. Right off the top is a pattern that I've wanted to work up for quite some time and I just did not have, I guess, the courage to do it. <laughs> but I did it last week. Um, not exactly how I was supposed to you on this one it's called a wiggle stitch I guess I don't know but it's you create like a mesh which is the gray part and then you work on top of those stitches so I guess a surface crochet and um, but what I did is I messed up and the mesh part I believe is supposed to be worked in a uh, with a smaller crochet hook and, and then you use a larger crochet hook for the the surface crochet on, up on top but I'm not disappointed in it I really like it um, it makes for I mean I think it would make for a really good um, trivet or a hot pad or just whatever you want to use them for but I do, and this was my very first one. I run out of my cotton. Cotton. Um, it would be really nice for maybe a scrap, cotton scrap um, project. But I do. I did enjoy making this. Um, it was. Um, kind of almost to me it seemed like a a maze you know this time of year the corn mazes that you go through well it seemed like a maze to me and um i got stuck on one part and then i had to you know uh fasten off and then start at another area i did that um uh, twice i think it was <laughs> but all in all i thought it turned out really cute now um this next here is this sugars and cream I don't know if y'all have worked with this at all I found this on clearance at Hobby Lobby I don't know last year or year before last but I got it for a dollar 24 regular price was 4.99 and this is the um, this uh, what is it a scrub off is what it's called and I managed to get um, well, it looks like maybe out of two. I'm not sure what I have going on right here. But um, this is how it works up. You have your cotton. And then it goes to a cotton scrubby type. And then the cotton and then a scrubby again. 
on this one here, the color way on it was, or is, um, pretty purple. And they, I mean, I got three little washcloths out of it, I think out of one. And then, um, yeah. But they have the, the scrubby and the cotton all in one thing. And they don't, you know, they're perfect. I, I like these. I wasn't really sure if I would like this um, type of yarn or not. I mean, I use the cotton quite often, um, actually. Yeah, it looks like I got, this looks like all one. It just came kind of came apart. But it looks like I got three, you know, smaller size washcloths. Maybe a face cloth with this much left over out of a, how big is this? Um, yarn weight right here. Uh, 2.6 ounces or a stickers over the yardage. Hang on. Let's peel that off real quick. Peel that back. 106 yards so I got three smaller washcloths and this much left over um, I wasn't sure I'd probably be playing yarn chicken on it to try to get another one out but that wasn't too bad for a uh, $1.24 anyhow and then let's see what do we have this here little buff puff thing I'm, I'm you know uh, a shower poof I guess you could say I created this and when I was working this one up I was using actually the Dollar Tree cotton on this and it's all one piece um, I do have a short video and I have on there you know me making it and and I have typed in the instructions on what I was doing. But I used, it takes one skein to make this. There's a lot of yarn in this. And, uh, which I think is really cool. It's really nice. 100% cotton. I used the Premier Just Cotton from, like I said, the Dollar Tree. And I actually bought it when it was still the Dollar Tree instead of the Dollar Twenty Five store. So <laughs> a dollar, a buck. I got you know the yarn for, and I got me a nice little poof. And it was 104 yards, and the name on it was or is good grief. I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, turquoise uh, marl, but just in case you were wondering about the premier just cotton from the Dollar Tree it works up rather nicely and uh, I'm very pleased with it so if if you don't have you know a yarn store or a big box store you know um, in your area if you have a Dollar Tree this is um, a really nice cotton to work with I, uh, I really like it and next up I have another yarn that I purchased from Hobby Lobby on clearance is this I can't say probably say it right symphony symphony but um, it is was a regular $5.99 I got it for a dollar sixty two I also made um, washcloths out of this. I've made um, a couple different things out of it actually, um, but I wanted to try it for washcloths just to see um, how it would do. And it worked up really nice. Um, it is stretchy. I did the a corner to corner. It's just a, a single crochet rib, corner to corner on that. Um, the color on here, let's see. Look at that though. It says $5.99 here on the Hobby Lobby. You flip it over here to its actual label and it says $6.49. It's 
so I don't know. I don't know. I guess Hobby Lobby was just, I don't know. Anyway, colorway on here. Uh, do I see it anywhere? Do y'all see it? I don't know. I can't see it. But anyway, it's uh, the pink and white. Um, I, I have used like the turquoise and white for a, um, a shawl a wrap for my honey's mom. And uh, it turned out really nice. Um, let's see what else do I have. That. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, this here. I love this. Oh, look. Wait. Wait. Time out. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I do have another one of the, uh, look, I got too much stuff coming out at one time, guys. I do have in the, in the making another one of the uh, shower poofs and making it in the solid pink which is from uh, Dollar Tree as well the color of it is just pink but it is the premier just cotton and uh, but that's the start of one I forgot I had that in there. Um, now this next thing here is a, it's also for the shower, um, a back scrubby. But what I have found with these is um, if you have ever tried dry brushing your skin, um, it is really super nice. I like to use this on my back. Um, as a dry brush. Um, I used a cotton, is it rope or twine or anyway, but it's cotton. I use that It's heavy duty. Um, more than likely got it out of the hardware department at the store. Um, <laughs> but I just made little, um, straps for each side. And then I started crocheting into the strap and I held the two yarns together. It's a regular um, peaches and cream or um, just regular utilitarian cotton. And then the, uh, the nylon scrubby yarn. And I'm telling you, I love this thing. I, I'm going to make some more of these. Absolutely. Um, but I made this one and everybody was like, oh, I think it's too short. I think it's too short. So I went ahead and kept it for myself. And yeah, it, it's mine. I love it. Um, so really, really nice. Um, like I said, for the dry brush. I mean, it worked great in the bath or, you know, um, in the shower as well. And it, it, it has held up through many washings, many, you know, bathing times you know whatever but um that's really nice let me see what else do i have in here a bag of just cotton baggy full i go prepared <laughs> uh let's see what else did i find in here um hang on oh let's see Oh, here's a few things. All right, these are just a couple little, um, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was just playing around just to see what this color turned out to look like. Um, so maybe a mug rug, you know, this one here, maybe for, you know, to set a cup on or whatever. And this one here, or they might just be okay for, and to uh, use at the sink for you know getting down in your in your cups or whatever this one here is tied off so I'm gonna keep it as it is so more than likely a mug rug for this one it'll be fine for a coffee cup this one here is not so I may end up ripping it out and you know putting it with something else now this here is um, something new that I have been trying my hand at um, these are to hold 
bowls, like um, a cereal bowl or uh, hot bowls. Um, so what I did is I held two strands of the regular cotton. What I mean by regular cotton is the regular uh, number four weight, the medium weight, um, the peaches and cream or, or lilies and cream, you know. But I held two strands together and worked a single crochet around until I got, and I had a bowl that I pulled out of my kitchen cabinet that I was actually measuring. And, um, but it works really, really well. <clears throat> I was planning on uh, going by the Dollar Tree actually and picking up a few bowls and um, doing a tutorial over it because they, they're so, I mean, they're handy. They are handy. Uh, my honey and I have actually used um, them a couple times, even though they're not finished off, but just to kind of check it out. Um, now, the center, I think I might take some silicone, maybe, and go just like where the bottom of the bowl sits, because to me, it kind of seems like it may be like a slip hazard to the bowl, and like I said, um, I used them for when we had chili and soup, you know, so you don't really want to take the chance of spilling hot chili in your lap. Um, while you're sitting there watching a movie. So I'm thinking, yeah, it needs some sort of um, non-slip something on the bottom, on the inside. But all in all, I am really happy with how they turned out. And they're thick enough. Uh, turn them upside down and they can be just a little hat too. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Keep them right up. Keep a bowl in them. And uh, keep your hands from being burnt. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did actually. Well, I started this. I started this, and I really, really like this. And the uh, cotton I used for this, it came from obviously uh, Hobby Lobby on clearance for seven uh, fifty-seven cents is what I got it, and it's Crafter's Secret. And the colorway is um, weathered sand, weathered sand. And um, I actually have this little bit here left and then this. This is all I have of this cotton here. But I have a request for a halter top. Um, bikini top of sorts so I started on this and I really 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 like the way it looks I love how it turned out but what I didn't care for is whenever I have it on my mannequin um, it kind of seems there might there might need to be a little bit more coverage on the side boob area <laughs> And I also, I watched the video as well, and um, it showed where um, this lady was making one, and right at this very moment, I cannot remember who it was, but she ended up ordering, um, was it boob cuff cups, or bra cups, or something, and she inserted somehow she she added like a boob cup to it and it formed the top more so than you know what it actually is now so I'm kind of in a dilemma if I want to rip it all out but oh my gosh isn't that pretty it is so pretty I wish I were skinny to where I could wear stuff like this but I don't know it is so cute and I know I'm close so you can't really tell but yeah I don't know if I should rip it out or hang on to it and try to order some of them cups like the other lady was using or or what I should do there I just don't know um hang on in my other bag over here 
I did a little Sunday fun day thing yesterday and I'll share it with you too. Hang on. All right, guys, don't laugh. Um, for my Sunday fun day project, I was scanning while I'm, while I'm talking, I'll go ahead and put some of this stuff back in my bag. Um, I do have more cotton in here, but it's just random. That's really pretty. That really bright green. That right there, that's pretty. But anyway, all right, back to what I was saying. Got my notebook in there. Let me flip this the other way. Cram this stuff back in. All right, my Sunday fun day. I was scanning Facebook yesterday morning and um, a lady had put on a free pattern, her own free pattern, and it was in a completely different language. I honestly, I can't, I don't know what language it is. Um, <laughs> all I know is it was not anything I could read. Um, but being a tether, a tether, I can't even talk, being a pattern tester, I have, um, had to test patterns in different languages, but this one here had like, she had like paragraphs, um, sentences and, you know, special instructions that was in this foreign language that I had no idea, you know. So, but I, I give it a shot, right? It was Sunday, Sunday fun day. Let's just see what I can come up with while uh, working this pattern that I had no, really, absolutely no idea. Other than a few of the uh, pattern symbols, their self. Um, as far as the words, I had no clue. But it was supposed to be a little cat, okay? <laughs> well, are you ready? Are you ready for what I come up with? Here he comes. <laughs> there is what I accomplished on my Sunday fun day. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I did him correctly, but I chose this yarn. It's a brown camo by Red Heart. Um, just in case anybody was wondering. Um, I thought of a calico kitty. That's what I was thinking of when I chose this yarn. But on her photos, she had all of hers solid colors and had, you know, a stripe of detail and all that. Well, I didn't do the stripe of detail. I guess maybe I should have. And I used, I chose to go ahead and use the uh, safety eyes instead of sewing the eyes on. Um, I do believe I messed up on the tail, the placement of the tail. I'm thinking... It was supposed to be down a row versus where I have it. Um, but I got his little arms and his legs. Um, it's all one piece. Even the tail is, you know, worked as I went around. I went ahead and made it all completely one piece. And then, um, yeah, that's what I got. That's what I come up with. Um, my honey says he may be a gerbil. Or a hamster. It would have to be a gerbil because hamster has a little bitty stumpy tail. Um, or he also said a, a Furby. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I uh, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it, you know, spot on because you know. But hey, I had fun while I while I worked at it, and and uh, that's what it's all about, right? But anyway. There is my little Sunday fun day calico kitty thing. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys, I am going to go ahead and get off of here. And I hope this uh, week finds you all blessed and happy. And I hope you all have a good one. And until next time, take care. Peace. I love you all. Bye-bye.